When it comes to immigration and taxes, a lot of what form you have to file depends on what visa you're on. It's a combination. It's a combination of what visa you're on, how many days you're in the U.S., not only this year, but the past few years, what type of income you have. If you do pay taxes and or earn income in a foreign country, what country is that? Does that country have a tax treaty with the U.S.? International taxes in general are very complex. And being here in Midtown Manhattan, obviously we have a wide variety of international foreign clients. We're happy to deal with those issues and consult on them and give our best advice on how to deal with them. It's not really how tax returns affect your visa, it's more how the visa affects the tax return. Because sometimes, depending on what visa you have, it'll affect what tax form you file. Whether it's a regular 1040 individual U.S. tax return, or whether it's a 1040 NR, 1040 non-resident tax return. And whether you're a resident or non-resident for immigration purposes doesn't mean you're a resident or non-resident for tax purposes, IRS purposes. The IRS and immigration slash Homeland Security doesn't always see things the same way. So it's important to consult with a, a CPA or someone who's highly experienced in international tax issues before you decide what form to file. A lot of times people file the 1040 or, and or the 1040 NR and they weren't supposed to file the opposite form. So that's another mess we're able to clean up and another tax situation we're able to resolve because we have a lot of experience doing that. So trying to figure out whether you qualify for a 1040 or 1040 NR, you usually have to undergo something called the substantial presence test, which I wouldn't say clearly explained, but the substantial presence test is explained at irs.gov. So you can always take a look at irs.gov and see if you could figure it out yourself or call the IRS to try to figure it out. But that's something that we're also happy to do for you at the consultation. If you come into us for the consultation, we'll explain the substantial presence test to you kind of in more basic English than the IRS website does, and we'll help you determine what form you need to file. We've helped people on all different types of visas with their taxes here. The most common type of work visa is an H-1B, there's an O-1, there's visas for different countries, like an E-3 is for Australia. So we're pretty familiar with most of the different types of visas. 